This is a demonstration of the Deng Ge. Deng Ge is one of the eight kicks of Wing Chun. It's seen in the Tang Kyu form. When we go like this, leg up and kick, and also when you just turn to kick. When you just turn, when you turn this way and then kick, hand comes up, leg comes up, it's the lead leg, and the hips push forward to do a front push. It's kind of like a push kick, but it's a thrust. Okay. It's hard to do with just your lead leg. It's hard to do just in the form with somebody standing there. That's why you have to have the hips into it. The second one you do in Tum Q, you don't lift the leg all the way up because you don't have time. The guy's coming in and you actually need to try to pull the leg up and kick in quickly. It would go like this. All right. You don't have time to lift up. You just go turn straight through. That's a little bit low. In application, we end up usually doing it from the rear leg. I've done the technique. Let's say um, I've done a gong so, pop so, punch. I've done this punch, and now I'm going to come in with this hand. I can either come in with the left hand, or I can come in with a kick, or I can come in with the left hand and then the kick. So it looks like this, pox out, punch, punch, follow up, and kick through. Or, pox out, punch, show the hand, and then kick. And the same thing from the other side, let's, let's say pox out, punch, if you watch, it's the hips have to go forward. Anytime you kick or any kind of technique that you use, you want to make sure you cover properly with your hands. When I do a dunk up, I'm coming, let's say, with the back leg. I come forward with the hand. In one sense, it's there as a fake. In another sense, it's also as a guard. I'm not just going to come in, raise the leg, and expect to be able to kick. I want to be able to fake, kick. Or even if I'm punching with this hand and I'm coming in with a kick. At least I have a guard, and I have guard hands in front of me. During the kick, you're actually throwing your hips and your body into it. Watch my shoulders, forward in. My head, looking forward, tucked in. You don't want to go this and that. You're throwing your weight back, it's off balancing your kick, you lose power. After the dung duck happens, Kick, balance is key. Even though I'm throwing my weight forward for the kick, I kicked and I land. This is another concept that's in Chung Heel, right? You turn, you kick, and you land. But you never turn, kick, and lunge. Balance is already built into the system, right? You kick, land, even. You still have mobility, you still have stability. So those are some of the key things you want to look out for when you're doing the dunk technique.